Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Clear the Air. Beloved family, our text says, Then he continued, Do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me twenty-one days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Now I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people in the future. For the vision concerns a time yet to come. Daniel 10, 12-14 Throughout the course of a relationship, many unspoken things can accumulate and begin to turn into emotional baggage that starts to weigh us down and may cause contention and disconnection in the relationship. Communication is fundamental to any relationship. It is from the word commune, which means living together and sharing resources and responsibilities. It's where we also get our word community. And another word that stems from it is communion, which is the sharing or exchanging of intimate thoughts and feelings, especially when the exchange is on a mental and spiritual level. I guess this is how religion self-defines Holy Communion, because of the sharing of Jesus, the Holy One, body and blood. Our Lord Yeshua, King Jesus Christ, did say, do this in remembrance of me. He just didn't call it Communion. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shared for many for the remission of sins. Matthew 26, 26 to 28. But my point here is that communication, commune, community, and communion are essential to natural and spiritual relationships. King Jesus is the word of God. That means every time we speak or hear a word, it is Christ. This is why faith comes by hearing words, and the words we hear should be the word of God. Now, just as there are faithful, loving, generous, uplifting, and powerful and anointed words, the enemy is also a wordsmith, spinning words of hate, depression, and lie. Well, what is a lie? What is the truth? Simply put, words. King Jesus taught his disciples how to pray to one father. If you missed that teaching, get it. It doesn't matter your race, language, or religion. If you believe in King Jesus Christ, Lord Yeshua, the Holy One of God, as the sacrificial lamb, then you have one father. But if you don't, then according to Christ, your father is the devil, the father of lies. Praying is simply communicating and communing with the father. In our opening text, Daniel prayed over and over again. He was trying to figure out why there was no answer. We all know communication and prayer is two-way. Whenever we pray to God, He responds. Unless, of course, we need to clear the air. What are you holding on to that's a hindrance to your prayers or hearing from God? Is it doubt or unforgiveness? Peter said, husbands love your wives. Treat them with respect as joint heirs to the gracious gift of life, so that nothing will hinder your prayers. 1 Peter 3, 7. Then King Jesus says, if your brother has something against you and you want to commune with God and offer a gift, first, leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First, be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Matthew 5, 24. 
So we may need to clear the air between us and God, between us and the throne, so that our prayers will go through and it won't be hindered. But then again, there are hindrances in the air that cause our prayers to stay there until a breakthrough comes. Our Lord God sends Michael to help break through the prayer so that it can get to Daniel and our prayers can get to us. And of course, sin in our lives clutters the air and our prayers are hindered. Jesus says, repent, clear the air. This is the way we do our part to ensure that there is nothing stopping our prayers and God's response. When we repent and clear the air, we can then worship and praise him because he inhabits our praises. But in our text this morning, we see that God also has his part to play. Sometimes he has to clear the air himself. Daniel was praying to God for several days and still nothing. I can only imagine what he began to think. Am I in a good place with God? Did I do something wrong? His mind may have begun to doubt. Does God hear me? Does he even care? I know we ask the same questions sometimes. Then he finally gets the answer to his prayers, but also an explanation as to why it took so long. The angel said the prince of the Persian kingdom, a typology of demonic rulership, Possibly Satan himself resisted me until Michael, one of the chief princes, freed me. God had to clear the air, literally. Whenever we pray to God, our prayers rise up to the nostrils of God like smoke. Revelation 8 4 says, The smoke of the incense, together with the prayers of God's people, went up before God from the angel's hand. It was Michael and the angels who fought against Satan, the dragon, and his angels and defeated him, casting him out of heaven. So we know that whenever Michael shows up, God has had enough. I praise God that he clears the air. He always has an answer for you, even though you have not heard it yet. God is truly faithful. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord God Almighty. Our Father, we repent. We forgive. We let vengeance go. We offer sacrifices of praise. Please clear the air so our prayers can be heard and not be hindered. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for clearing the air to allow us to communicate directly to you, to bring our prayers to the throne of God, and so that we can have the answers we need to move forward and to continue the work in the kingdom. Much love.